happy to announce our Faith, Love, Life, and Style Home Refresh Series. Yes. A lot of you discovered my channel through Vlogmas and I'm so grateful. Instead of doing isolated videos, how about just putting it all together for one week, maybe two, starting out with a home refresh series. Yes. And what does it mean to refresh? Some organization? Some decorating? Maybe. You'll have to tune in to see. And then after the home refresh series, we're going to move on to something that is very popular. That's right. Decorating. Organizing. Let's go. Come on. So the boots are up top for now. Getting ready to build the uh, Billy bookcase extensions. Put them together. One on that end, one on this end. And all sandals and flip flops, summer shoes. Everything is going to move up. Up, up, up. All the shelves are going to move up because I'll now have the extension and you can put shelves inside the extension once those move up then the boots will be down at the bottom maybe to about i think about here yeah so ready to get that started because these shelves are just in the way honey let's go let's go ahead and get it started The next day and the extensions for the Billy bookcase are complete. Get ready to put those on top of the shoe shelves.
All right, y'all, we are on to higher heights. So the extensions are installed. Let me grab these hangers. I know y'all probably saw these earlier, like what in the world? They were up top <laughs> behind my purses. But um, I am lost for words. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, oh, we need to start moving everything up. So if you're just joining us or if you missed it earlier, we are moving sandals, specifically flip-flops. Everything at the bottom will go up to the top, even above the um, extension, like in between the ceiling and the, like the top, the roof, ceiling, whatever you wanna call it, of the bookcase and the actual ceiling, I'm putting some sandals there. Flip-flop sandals will go up there because we're really about saving space and maximizing our what? Vertical space, all my old heads from last year. I make it seem like I've been on YouTube for a hundred years, but the point is all the people that watch my apartment tour when I was in a one bedroom, you know that I do not play about vertical space and you should not either. So um, we're gonna raise all of the sandals or basically store all of the flat sandals, summer sandals up top. Then we'll move like, you know, things that you could wear in the fall. These are cute with some jeans and like a nice coat, you know. Anything that's a nice heel or stiletto will be like in the middle because the holidays are coming up. And then I'm gonna have the boots on the last two rows. So the boots probably would go from like down there to about here and then another section of boots and then the rest upward would be all of the summer sandals and stilettos, open toe shoes. So super excited y'all, but I am tired. I'm about to go make a cup of coffee. I know, I know, I know. No coffee after two o'clock, but I'm tired and I just need some. All right, let's go. Oh, one more last thing before I get the coffee. These um, Amazon hooks are for whatever you wanna use them for, but I'm using them for necklaces. So all of my longer, well, not even the longer ones, shorter ones too, but all of my like statement jewelry, my delicates and like personal memento jewelry, I store somewhere else. But my fashion jewelry and longer necklaces will be hung here. So that when I'm getting dressed, it's easy to just basically grab a necklace, put it on, pop in the mirror, check it out and go. Yeah. It was actually um, on the inner portion of like my closet last time, so you really couldn't see them when you walked in or walked by the um, the unit. You'll probably see the end result. Well, I don't know. I can't guarantee that. You'll see the end result in this video. Hoping to get everything done, but we'll see. All right, coffee time, bye. I've hung all of the jewelry. Um, and if you're judging, stop it. I used to be a Stella and Dot stylist. I might sell some of this on Poshmark, but I feel like it's investment pieces or pieces that I could use, you know, for a long time. I could pass them on to relatives and so forth. So I don't care if you're judging, but at least I'm organized with it, right? <laughs> and then um, the closet system is pretty much done. Um, all the summer sandals, I'm getting ready to store those. I'll show you what I'm doing with those. I think we talked about it already, but I'm getting ready to put those in place. I did a fun photo shoot in that um, jacket, shirt jacket from Walmart. Shout out to Walmart. This is not sponsored, but I love y'all and I have partnered with them in the past. So it was so much fun fun and a delight to create content. The purple one is on the back. Let me show you real quick. Uh, the purple one is here. And then this is really blue on the website, but it has a lot of pink, so I call it the pink one. But anyway, stay tuned y'all. We're working through this project, working through this project. Um, I did use my white vintage coach. My very first, was it my first coach bag? No, it wasn't, but the coach purse that I used, I'll insert a picture here. I'm gonna put that back on the shelf when I did that photo shoot um, in that jacket. So yeah, the jewelry is assembled and put in place. The desk has actually moved here, <laughs> but I'll reveal that separately. 
And this Ikea Billy bookcase is one of the shorter ones. It's the same as the beauty closet in terms of width. It's just a half, um, half the height. And so I'm getting ready to put this in the closet. What am I talking about? I explained to you that I was building it already, or did I? I'm not sure if I did. Built this one last night because I'm gonna use this as my backdrop for the Sephora sale video that I'm doing next week. Following me? So it's not gonna be here, it's just my backdrop. And I'm gonna use some items from Home Goods. By the time you see this, you might have seen the Home Goods haul already. Some black and white decor um, that I got from Home Goods. I'll style this shelf and use it as my backdrop. If you um, are a Sephora fan, stay tuned for that video. Or by the time this comes out, you might have seen it already, so I'll link it. I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But in any event, this is really going in the closet, my bedroom closet, to store all of my summer sandals. Feeling me? Anybody following me? So you know that right now we're transitioning everything for fall and winter. Some of y'all have already done that. I'm trying to get on your level. But my sandals are gonna go um, on this. And I have extra shelves. So you know, sandals don't take up a lot of height because they're typically like flat. I have a couple heels, like summer sandals. Those will go to the bottom. But like flip flops and so forth, I have several extra shelves, like maybe five. I say several, that's like, yeah, five. And I can do lots of rows of summer sandals. So we're gonna move this over to the bedroom and get it out of the way. All right, shoe shelf or mini shoe shelf gone. Let's go ahead and start moving the shoes. Ooh, huh, let's go. So I'm leaving Utah and Headed out to, um, headed out to get the U-Haul truck to go to Ikea. And I'm not seeing the car. Oh, here we go, right here. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, y'all, I'm in the U-Haul truck. A fire truck is coming, so. Fire truck. Okay, they're going that way. I'm in the U-Haul truck and headed to IKEA. See you when I get there. Bye. This has been a nightmare. And now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's too much going on. Somebody almost hit me. I got to go. Bye. I ain't trying to check in and a young lady told me to come in because when I go to the link, it's not yeah, it's not loading, it's just sitting on the screen. Okay, are you still parked outside? Yeah, it's a U-Haul truck, U-Haul van. Any parking spot specifically? I was struggling trying to park it, I didn't even take it's the okay. number. I'm the only U-Haul. Take it here, I'll have you, I'll bring it, um, I'll bring it out right here. So. Okay. Um, what's your order number? Um, here it is. So I'm going to try and go get the Hobbit mirror while I'm here since I have the U-Haul and hopefully they have it in stock. All right, stay tuned. y'all we're back at the house and I have one of the Ikea Pox units here and let's go see the other ones Whew. say a prayer say a prayer for me don't mind the luggage you know it's a whole lot <laughs> I was going on behind the scenes but this is the other two so we're about to go ahead and Start building. I'm actually gonna put this suitcase. I just sanitized it, wiped it down. Y'all have seen that before in a previous video. When I come back, unpack. I do wipe down my suitcases if I'm nesting them inside of the other. So I'll spray the insides with Lysol, wipe down the outsides with like wipes, Clorox wipes, and then nest them. The large one, probably not, because it's on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, nest those, put them away, and then get to building. I know I'm not gonna get all of this done tonight. I'm not, because I'm do I'm working solo tonight. So 
we're just gonna take a deep breath and get started. That's what we're gonna do. Get started. That's it. One foot in front of the other. All right, let's go. <laughs> You didn't have to take the time to watch this video, but you did. And for that, I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell. Thank y'all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!